Hi all, welcome back to another episode of Says the Vet. If you're enjoying the videos, please don't forget to subscribe to catch more. Thumbs up, comment away. So I actually got asked this question as a comment on a video called Causes of Open Mouth Breathing in Backyard Chooks. The question was, how do I eradicate gapeworm? My hens have all the signs. I treat them and it goes away, but then it always recurs a few weeks later. It's an interesting question and not the first time it's been asked, so I thought I'd do it the honour of a full answer here. Gapeworm is a parasitic worm that lives in poultry. In case you're unaware, the worm develops in the lungs and when they're adult worms, they move into the windpipe. It's uncomfortable for the hen and so they will do things like shake their head to try and dislodge them. They'll stretch the neck out and gape, hence the name. You may notice a change in the pitch of their voice. And if the population of worms in there gets big enough, it can block the airway and suffocate the bird. So they can die if the burden's heavy enough. So it does need to be treated, but in free range flocks, it may well come back a few weeks later. So why is this? Well, here's the crux of it. When those adult worms lay eggs, the eggs are passed out in the poo of the hen. The eggs on the ground in the poo are then eaten by creepy crawlies like snails, slugs, grasshoppers, that sort of thing, until that little creepy crawly is eaten by the next chicken. So it's a sneaky, sneaky way that they've figured out to get themselves eaten by the next hen so they can complete their life cycle. You cannot eradicate these creepy crawlies from the environment, and it would be a terrible idea for the environment if you tried to do so. So when you treat a chicken for gapeworm, you are only going to be killing the burden that she's carrying and a bit of residual treatment there. But as soon as it wears off, there will be plenty of creepy crawlies waiting to be eaten again to kick the whole thing off. So if they're free ranging, it's just not going to be possible. If they're housed indoors, sometimes people can try their best to keep them eradicated, but you can still get issues with grasshoppers and that kind of thing making their way into the barn. My advice is that if this is happening to you, you definitely want to run some poo samples through the vet just to make sure that you are dealing with gateworm and you are actually treating the right thing. Okay, there are many causes of open mouth breathing in chickens today, um, which that episode initially was addressing, so catch that here. Some of those causes will wax and wane anyway, so you might get confused and think that something's working when it's actually not. If you run those tests and yes, the eggs are there, yes, it is gapeworm, then you do have to continue treating it for the welfare of those hens, but just make sure that you switch up the product that you're using, okay? So that you're not relying on the same drug over and over. This is terrible for drench resistance, which means that eventually our drugs will stop working for us in the future. Okay, so alternate between levamazole, fenbendazole, and your mectin drugs. Okay, so just switch those up. So that's our snippet for today. It's a pretty easy answer. Please don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. I'll see you for the next one.